Hello, thank you for watching. Elise makes a bunch of videos again today. I am just going to talk about um, some of my sort of goals or, or dreams, I guess. Um, I'm going to start with sort of past things that I've already completed. So probably starting in after high school, I guess, or during the end of high school, I would have, um, I won't made the goal to like finish my university degree although I sort of like wavered in the middle there deciding whether that was necessary but I did and then um also sort of related to that was um to get certified to teach English as a second language and then do that which I did um other than that uh, I w had some travel goals not specifically, but just sort of to travel generally, which I did do. And also, after all that, what, the big goal was to pay off the student loans, um, which I did actually eventually do, amazingly. And yeah, so those are those are like sort of the big past sort of things um, that I was lucky enough to get, get uh, accomplished. And right now, like sort of my present current in the moment goals, like everyday daily things are just like saving money, um, visiting, contacting family and friends that are here in Canada while I'm here, um, eating healthy, exercising, and also just helping out with sort of moving and any reno stuff with my mom's place here. Um, yeah, it's mostly coming together, so that's going well. So then I have all my future things into two-year goal, five-year goal, and ten-year goal. A lot of um, formats of things that you look up is usually like one year and five year and ten year, but I just feel like one year isn't a very long time, so I don't know. Um, yeah, so for my two-year goals I have, I would like to complete my dive instructor certification, so I'll probably do that in uh, the winter for the southern hem hemisphere which is like july august um hopefully i'll go to like philippines or probably thailand and do it there um yeah continuing to build my credit here in canada um that's currently happening and hopefully will continue and actually get me somewhere in a few years um also saving money so i'm hoping to get at least fifty thousand dollars saved in the next two years um and once i get to new zealand i'm hoping to find some sort of work in like natural tourism or at least volunteer work in sort of natural tourist areas um so i can check that out and also sort of save money a little bit um my five-year goals ha are to um, have stable investments in probably property and, or otherwise, but yeah, that's the main goal. I would like to own a vehicle at that point um, and hopefully get some sort of seasonal work permanently worked out so I can be working like six or six and a half months a year and the rest of the time traveling or just not working <laughs> so that's sort of my, my five-year goal um there's like less as you get farther away um so my 10-year goals are basically just to be uh healthy um to have somewhere in the in the ballpark of like one hundred thousand dollar investment or capital of some sort so probably property um, investment, um, and just keeping solid, positive relationships with friends and family. Um, and again, going back to the five-year goals, um, with work, not work, sort of time frame balance, um, and trying to keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, those, those are my goals at the moment it's always good to sort of like go back and really think them over I don't usually go into the like past or present stuff but I just thought that would be interesting to just sort of like look back and see what I'm doing now and into the future and beyond so yeah that's 
that's the video for today. Thanks again for watching. Peace.